Hey guys, DT and Sun here from Sun Bros, and today I am really proud and excited to be bringing you guys the first video on a new series, the top five series. That's, we're gonna make a ton of content with tips and tricks. But today's series is the top five tips for beginners. And I will preface this by saying that a lot of experienced players that I've played with and a lot of people that we've tried out for the Sun Squad and a lot of people who played this game for a while could definitely learn from these tips. But I definitely think that these are a really good starting point for all beginner players. So without further ado, starting the list at number five is always be learning. So what I mean by always be learning is that everything in this game can always be used as a learning opportunity. Did you get destroyed? What can you learn from that? Did your team just get demolished and you guys got beat 30 to three or 30 to five or 30 to 10? What can you guys learn from that experience to make yourselves better? Now, this may require you to do something a little bit extra like recording your games and watching them again and say, hey, what can I do better to make sure my team doesn't get beat as badly? If you're leaving a game where you're getting smoked by the other team and you're saying, man, my team sucks. I would have won if my team doesn't suck. Guess what? You don't learn anything from that opportunity. Always be, stop looking outside at, at, your, at your teammates that suck and are feeding and they're AFK and they're noobs and go, what could I have done to try to help change that circumstance? If you think the answer is nothing, you're never going to get better. It's plain and simple as that. If you're winning a game by... 20 kills and you finish with MVP and you finish with great amazing stats what can you do to be better that's what this game is about this game is about always learning how to do better than you did before so everything is a learning opportunity and everything's an opportunity to get better and to learn more about how to play how about playing the free rotation heroes and learning what they do a little bit better you may not like them, you may not enjoy playing them, but can you learn from playing them what they do and what they're going to want to do against you? Therefore, when you face them on the battlefield, you'll have a better idea of how they're gonna to try to counter you, how they're gonna to try to do X, Y, and Z to you, and you can be better prepared to fight them. Just always be learning. Everything in this game is a learning opportunity, and the moment that you guys stop trying to learn in this game is the moment you're going to start to fall behind. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would comment below and tell me in which, what's your favorite ways to always be learning? What do you guys do to keep yourselves learning the game, learning how to become better, learning how to do X, Y, and Z better, learning how to do this and that better? Yeah, comment below and tell me what you guys do to keep yourselves learning how to be better at the game. And coming in at number four is avoid toxicity. Whether it's you being toxic to your teammates and trashing them or they're being toxic and trashing you and you start arguing back and it becomes this big fight and argument and you're trying to win it and all these things, you know, it's all nothing more than a waste of time. Toxicity doesn't help anyone. It doesn't make anyone in the game better. It doesn't help them improve. It doesn't help them stop feeding. It doesn't help them to learn how to play the game better. All it does is waste time and guarantee your team a loss. So do yourselves a favor, avoid being toxic, avoid responding to toxic players, just play your game and do your best to help your team get a win. I know it's not easy, I know it's way easier said than done and trust me, at times I get caught up in the toxicity and I start flinging it back and I get pissed off, but it isn't worth your time, so just buckle down and do your best to get that W. Coming in at number three is never give up. Surrendering is one of the easiest things in the game to do, but you learn absolutely nothing from it. So, instead of surrendering, do your best to win the game or lose with grace and style and learn from your mistakes and learn how to play from behind with patience and perseverance to be able to win games that you didn't think were winnable. Some of the best games that I've ever been a part of were big time come from behind wins. So to put it simply, there's simply nothing to gain from surrendering, but you can learn a lot or potentially win a game that you choose to keep fighting on. Additionally, if you wanna rank up the ladders and get to Glorious Legend, you're going to have to learn to come from behind to win. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that you're going to be ahead in every single game you play, and you'll never have to learn how to persevere through a huge adversity in a game. And coming in at number two on the list is understanding your role. Now, why is understanding your role so important in a game like Mobile Legends? The quick and easy answer is this. 
Every role is important to the team as a whole, and the moment that somebody stops playing their role, they leave the other members of the team exposed. Now, because this is a beginner's tips, I'll leave the roles more simple than what they really are. The reality is, is that even within each role, there are sub rules. You know, you have certain assassins that crowd control and certain ones that don't and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to we're going to break it down simply though. Whether your job is to tank, which means to frontline and protect your teammates, or it's as marksman or ADC, which means that you're the big time damage dealer and you should be focusing, you know, killing people from a distance and trying to stay out of harm's way, or you're a mage with great crowd control and some supporting abilities. Or you're an assassin who comes in from the bushes on the outskirts of the team fight to finish two or three guys off. Understanding a role is a really vital part of success in this game and success as a team. If you want to be the best marksman in the game or the best tank in the game, then understand what your role is in a team environment and what you do to help your team be successful. Now, that doesn't mean that your teammates are always going to do this and that you can always count on your tank to frontline or to crowd control people or to help peel for you. But what it does help you do is know that you're doing your part. So when you play with friends or you make a squad or you're playing in ranked fives or even just in solo queue when you're trying to do your best to win... The best thing that you can do to ensure that you're doing your job correctly is to understand your role and knock it out. Don't try to be an assassin as an ADC. Don't sit back with the, you know, with the marksman as a tank. Do your job and the best you can do is hope that your teammates are going to do theirs. There's no way for you to guarantee that. Obviously, we all have teammates who don't want to play their positions, who uh, just want to try to get all the kills, who will literally watch you die and then come in to get the last hit on somebody to get a kill. That's always going to happen. It's it's never going to go away. But the best thing that you can do to try to ensure that you get a lot of wins and a lot of victories and start moving up the ladders is to just understand your role and execute it to the best of your abilities. And lastly, the most important tip that I could give any beginner is ABF. Remember the term ABF, which stands for always be farming. This game is won and lost on gold. So how do you get a lot of gold? Number one, start to think about and concentrate on last hitting minions. You get extra XP and extra gold if you get the last hit on a minion to kill it. Number two, find a good rotation for going in lane and into the jungle to clear some jungle mobs so that you don't have any downtime in which you're not earning money. Number three, when you're dead, you earn no money. So only play aggressively and do something aggressive and go for kills if you're confident you can either get a kill or get out if it goes south. Don't take unnecessary risks and risk dying and falling behind in gold simply because you're kill hungry. Number four, know when to take turtle. Turtle gives you good XP and good gold for your entire team, but don't go rushing in when it's not a good opportunity. So what does that look like? That looks like having a couple enemies dead, having a couple lanes pushed in, when the enemy is distracted with being dead, or having to defend one of their towers, and you know where at least three or four of the enemies are at, that is a good opportunity to go and take turtle and make some extra cash for your team. So always be farming is the best tip that I can give a new player, a beginner player, on how to do better in Mobile Legends. And we will be making a top five video on the top five ways to be a great gold farmer upcoming in the next week or two. Be on the lookout for that because being a good gold farmer is the absolute best thing that you can do to be a better Mobile Legends player. Because when you get ahead in gold and items, you get ahead, period. So be on the lookout for that video, guys, on on the top five ways to get gold and to farm. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you guys did... Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends so they can learn some of these tips and tricks to becoming a better player. And as always, comment below with what you guys thought about the top five list. And if you guys would add anything to that list or take anything off, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And as always, until next time.